you learned? How to fly it. <laughs> Nancy Han is a NOAA Corps commander. She actually is an aircraft pilot herself. She flies NOAA missions. Nancy is based in the Aviation Operations Center inside NOAA in Florida, where they'll fly aircraft through hurricanes, for example. What's your altitude? What's your altitude? Uh, 315 feet. You can see in here real time the video from the Puma and you can see what the camera is seeing and what you're taking pictures of. And then it shows you all your flight readings, your altitude, you pick your mode of navigation. So it's kind of your real-time flyer to direct the bird. The Puma weighs 14 pounds and is hand-launched. We regularly flew the Puma between 200 and about 450 to 500 feet in altitude, depending on if we were over the water or over the animals. So I flew over to a rock offshore where the sea lines are and kind of scoped out the area that they were spread across and then tried to hone in on them and get some resolutions, high image resolutions, and then follow the sea line movement as the, the small boat came ashore to flush them off and get their samples. So with the Puma, we would not fly below about 200 feet in altitude because you've got winds coming off these cliffs on, on the shoreline that creates all kinds of downdrafts and a very unstable wind patterns around the beaches. And we wanted that altitude just to make sure that we didn't get pushed into the water or slammed into the hillside with the winds. You set up your waypoint so you have four, a series of four waypoints that it could fly in a box pattern or any type of geometric pattern that you lay it out to. Then it also has loiter points that it would just fly left hand turns around if you set it on one of these loiter points and then you have a um, downwind and a landing. When you set up a mission, those are the main waypoints. The nice thing about the Puma, though, once it was gone, it would land in the water. It was all waterproof, and so you didn't have to worry about bringing it back to the boat. You could just, just it would just put it in the water, and you'd have to fish it out. I don't think I had expectations coming in. I wasn't sure how, as a fixed wing, how it would perform. Definitely, it's a little bit easier to land and recover than I thought it would be, so that makes it a little more versatile. Getting the user interface to how the operator of the aircraft interacts with the plane is an ongoing research, you know, trying to figure out clever ways to make the aircraft understand what you're asking it to do and can execute. A skilled pilot understands how airplanes fly, and so they understand its limitations, whereas a novice may not. The ongoing research is how to reduce those limitations, you know, either in aircraft control or in user interfaces and, and the way the humans interact with the plane. Mm -hmm.